We are two days away from the state's special legislative session, and while we have some idea what might be covered, we certainly don't know what the outcome is going to be. Joining us to talk about all this is Travis County GOP Chairman Matt Makowiak and Texas Democratic Party Executive Director Jamar Brown. Jamar Brown talking about Senate Bill 7 when that is revisited. How are the Democrats going to approach this? Well, one of the things I think that's important for us to recognize here is uh, that we are just less than 48 hours away from the special session, and we don't even know what the full agenda is from the governor. So to me, it seems that the governor and the Republicans in Texas, um, they are definitely not being transparent about what we're going to discuss this session. But what we saw when they did SB7 earlier in the legislative session is how the Republicans in this state will continue to attack voters' rights, how they will continue to attack families, and also making sure that they're under covering the damage until it's too late. But one of the things I think that's important, in addition to the voting uh, rights pieces, also making sure that we understand that there is still this issue called the grid that's happening to make sure that all of our Texans can fate have electricity. This state has had over two decades to be able to fix these things. All righty, Jamar, real quickly here, how do you think this special session is going to go? Well, one of the things I think that's important, again, as I mentioned, right, that we have not talked about how we're going to make sure that we're fixing the grid, that even in this legislative session, following hundreds of Texans dying, that have, there's not been enough reform to know that our power is reliable in the sweltering temperatures that we are facing just from this holiday weekend. And so I think that's a piece that's got to be added and a piece that's important. But again, as I mentioned, the Republican Party, uh, they were anti-voter, that they are attacking voters' rights, um, that they are attacking our communities and attacking families families across Texas, okay. but not realizing and facing the challenges that people are experiencing. All right. Well, we're going to see what's what in the coming days. Gentlemen, thank you both for being here. We appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you.